Welcome on in everybody. Today we are checking out Witchfire. This is an early access title that's currently only available on Epic Games, but I think I think pretty soon we're probably gonna be seeing this on Steam too. If I had to be if I had to be completely transparent, I have I have no grounds to, to say that by, but <laughs> I have I have a pretty good feeling about it. Oh, I just found a letter. Oh, it's like this has a curse on it. Okay, we're just gonna we're gonna take it. I don't have the souls to, to take it right now. Uh without the chance of a curse. Oh, there we go. The luck is on my side. Okay, no curse this time. So we got ourselves a nice little pickup right off the right off the bat, which is fantastic. But yeah, this is a a game I've covered uh, a, almost a year ago. I want to say this came out in early access in September of 2023, and we're about at the year point almost. We're getting we're getting pretty dang close. Uh, sorry, I'm just kind of like scoping the area out. Uh, this is a lot like Dark Souls, uh, but also a lot like. I want to say Destiny. I say Destiny is a pretty good parallel to this from the way that the combat feels, but I think this game pulls from so many different genres, man. It's actually kind of nuts. Let's take a quick look at the map real quick. Uh, so the way this works is you spawn in at a point. Um, so this is the Scarlet Coast. There's a few different maps. I think there's like maybe six, five or six all together at the moment. Um, this game just had a huge, huge, huge update. Uh, they made it a lot easier at the beginning and did a whole bunch of other things. And I saw a really nice photo of a burning ship uh, <laughs> that like really piqued my interest. And in addition to that, they added a whole bunch of new classes too, which look amazing. They look really, really cool. <laughs> they, they did so much of this game. And I'm finally playing it on a good computer, so I'm excited to see how it goes. Yeah, you can see right here, I, I've died. I've died. <laughs> so just like Dark Souls, I have to go pick up the rest of my souls over there. Uh, so we're going like, to kind of work our way over there. I kill for a mini map though, I tell you what, because I'm probably going to be pulled up this map like none other yeah i'll have a link for this down below if you want to check it out for your for your dang self it is an early access it's got to be said there is some jank <laughs> there is a little bit of jank but i mean overall man like it's looking really cool i mean look at this hold on we gotta dispatch some foes here real quick Yeah, there is, there is uh, for this gun at the very least, there's a lot of uh, damage drop off. So that's where like the, the, the weapons kind of like start to shine in this game for me. Uh, I haven't unlocked too many just yet, but there are a bunch of different weapons that you can collect and upgrade um, with your souls and with um, research, which it just takes some time to do. There we go. We cleared the area so we get ourselves a nice little coagulated crystal of souls. We're going to take this and then we got our first roguelike element of the game. That's right. It's also a roguelike, if you can believe it or not. <laughs> so we just picked up. A, uh, a massive amount of souls are clearing an area, so we have to choose a, a boon to take with us for the rest of this uh, this run. And when we get back, I'll show you the Nexus area as well, so you can see everything that's going on in there. Um, I think, oh, weakened enemies? Oh, every day of the week. Give me some of that. Yeah, some of these guys are really tough. I've actually put in maybe like two to three hours already in this run alone, because uh, I've been really enjoying it. I, I don't think it's so so run-based like I'm making it sound like. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's not it's not so roguelike in that sense. Um Let's take a quick peek, see. Okay, I'm gonna have to kind of come up the come up the mountain or on this side, I think. Oh, we got we got dudes. We're gonna take them out. Man, the headshots feel great. And you can also see like on the the orange peeking on my screen with the little little cones. Oh, I step right into something. No, let me out. You have like a sixth sense. You have the spidey sense, right? So you can tell when people are aiming at you, which is super helpful. Okay, it's going to take another reload. One big thing I've noticed so far is that ammo is at a premium, man. <laughs> it's actually really hard to to uh, get get ammo in this game. Like this guy right here, he's carrying some. So we're going to kill him. He's going to drop his ammo right there. You can tell he was carrying it because he had the little eye in front of his, uh, on top of his head there. Kill some of these guys. Fantastic. We're booming and shooting. There we go. Let's take some more of that. Very good. I have one. Oh, you need to die. Okay. We got another guy up here. We got even more over here. Oh, man. <laughs> I wanted to talk a little bit more about the game, but I'm finding it hard to. Here we go. Have some of that. Have some of that, my, my, my guy. <laughs> oh, I, I should not shoot that. That'll explode on me. There we go. Yeah, there's uh, no lack of enemies, for sure. <laughs> there's so many, man. Oh, my lord. But they actually added in a whole bunch of new ones, too. Uh, since the last time I played, there was maybe three mobs, I want to say. I think they upped it a bit to maybe, like, five? Five different ones, which is great. Oh, there we go. We gotta choose a new one for us. Um, I can spend uh, these white feathers, white, white raven feathers, if I find them on the map. Uh, I'll show you that in a second. We'll talk about finding finding uh, ammo and finding feathers and other items on the map. Um, but right now, I don't have any, as you can see, noted down here. 
We might get a shockwave. Critical kills on shocked enemies produce a storm shockwave that knocks back enemies and shocks all nearby enemies. That sounds pretty good. Ooh, I'm gonna take that. Let's go with some of that. I'm gonna heal too. That's our one SS flask, <laughs> for lack of better terms. You know, this channel was was uh, was birthed on, on Dark Souls lore. As you can probably tell from my name. Which is kind of funny that I haven't played any Dark Souls yet <laughs> for this channel, but we're gonna do it. One day we're gonna do it for sure. And also, if you guys wanted to hang out with me live, I'm playing uh, I'm playing Soccer Gamma at the moment on Twitch. And sometimes I throw in a, a random stream during the week too. So I played some of this yesterday on stream actually, and it was a whole bunch of fun. You guys can find me. Uh, I'll put the link below if you guys want to check it out. Yeah, but we're streaming on. Oh, I'm already low on ammo, man. I'm telling you. Ooh. Hold on. Yeah, I'll put the link, I'll put the link below. I'm, I'm streaming on uh, Saturdays and Sundays at 6 p.m. CST. Uh, it's, been, it's been a whole bunch of fun. We're over on Twitch now, um, for better or for worse. Uh, <laughs> part of me is kind of regretting the decision. But at the same time, I think it might be a might be a pretty good idea to grow. Okay, we have to work our way to our, towards a portal right now. Here, we're going to take some of this. Oh, a medium witch-fired chunk. Fantastic. Usually when you die, you lose everything, but you keep your chunks. Oh, oh thank God. Okay, 17 more shots for <laughs> what little good it's going to do us. Man, there's so many guys. Okay, we have to we have to come up with a plan of escape like ASAP, man. I want to take a quick little peek-see at the map. Okay. So, yeah, usually when you spawn in, your first spawn in, you're going to spawn in right here. What you want to be doing... For your first few runs, like you're not, you're never making it to the boss. Your first boss of this map is the fight the witch's first familiar. Okay, that's the end goal. You're not doing that for a long time, let me tell you. <laughs> so don't don't even think about it. What you want to be doing is be finding portals. Uh, so like here and here, you want to find these portals, and you just want to like beeline it straight to it and collect some souls, and then dip out and then upgrade. Uh, otherwise, you're gonna be in for a pretty bad time. Drowned captain. Is this a boss fight right now? I never fought this guy. Oh, well, we're not fighting him. <laughs> we're running. <laughs> we're running away. Brave, 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 Sir Robin. That's how it goes, right? <laughs> little Monty Python for you. Here, let's get out of here. But yeah, I think today we'll be uh, playing a few runs. We're gonna do maybe a few runs. It'd be probably a longer video if I had to guess. Uh, which I'm totally okay with because I'm actually super enjoying this game. Uh, besides, besides the uh, the ammo, <laughs> the ammo thing, it's kind of that's kind of been a bummer. Here we go. A little more ammo. Oh god. Okay. Well, that's it. <laughs> that's all we get. And I don't think we're winning that. We gotta run. No, oh, my lord! Everyone wants to kill me. Okay. Here, oh, this is a. Mm, this is a bad portal to take. We want to take this one if we can. If we can, this one will take a shorter time to open. This one will be a long portal to open. So we're gonna oh, try to not die. Yeah, I've never seen the drowned captain uh, health bar pop up before. That must be a, a something new that they added in. I didn't know they had bosses before. Or maybe I just never got to it. But you know, who knows. I've been known to not be the most thorough guy on the internet. <laughs> oh, get out of here. Okay, we're gonna kind of run towards the boss area. There's no boss there, you have to kind of go underneath. And there's some upgrades you need to uh, to accomplish before you can even attempt to fight the boss. Yeah, so we need to accumulate 5k souls. So that's gonna be the goal of the video, and then we're gonna go fight this guy. Yeah, his, his lair is right there. Man, these guys are relentless. Oh my lord. How close are we? We're pretty close. Yeah, we need some Genosis, I think. Yeah, Genosis 3. Genosis is a is a book that you're going to open up eventually. Once you hit those 5k souls as an area inside your nexus. I don't think I can go through that way, so I might have to come up this way. I'm trying to manage my stamina at the same time. I'm not trying not to get obliterated. Ooh. Yeah, they have a whole bunch of different weapons. Uh, so they have, like, they have, like, carbines, sniper rifles, uh, pistols. Uh, I opted for this uh, machine gun. This like PPSH style machine gun with this cool magazine in it. <laughs> you know, they got the they got the thorns for structural bearing. Those are those are load bearing thorns on the on the gun. Just so you know. Here we go. Here's our here's our portal. 
There we go. So the portals are a little bit weird at the moment. You kind of have to jump and like hit the, uh, there's like a little, little prompt that'll give you if you hit it just right uh, to hit E and you have to hold it to get out. So that's a major bug right now that they need to fix ASAP because it's unplayable otherwise. <laughs> you have to know that. Uh, and a lot of people don't. Okay, there we go. So you see I have some research down here. I got myself some new crystals, which I can probably, I'm going to see how much I have. Uh, and I'm, I'm able to hit the 5K and we can probably open up that new area immediately, which would be kind of sick, but we'll see. Very good. So here we are at our nexus. Yeah, here's the little map of it. So you can see everything in its glory. This is the testing grounds. This is where you can learn all the controls for the game and all the mechanics. Uh, we also have the apothecary right here. This is where you're going to be making potions. Right now, I can only hold one at a time. Uh, so I think you unlock holding more than once at a time uh, through those... Uh, through the uh, roguelike element of the game. So when you pick up the uh, the area, the crystals for clearing areas out, that's where how you get more of those. Ascension Shrine. So we take a little peek see. This is where you level up. I'm going to hold off on leveling up at the moment. You can see I've, I've already leveled up uh, maybe four times. You start at level six. I've up up four, uh, four times at the moment just to get some some, uh, some stats up, which has been a pretty good time. The area is beautiful though, right? Like, doesn't this look so good? Here's the sanctuary. Over here, we have all of your equipment. If I had more equipment, I could uh, equip it here. Uh, I only have this one, I only have the Midas. So be it. Uh, you can also level it up. Level it up. Uh, it's mostly by uh, tasks. So you can see here, I just need to use second Mysterium Incantation. Uh, so that's all I need to do to unlock level two for this gun. And then I, I'm not really sure what happens at level two. It doesn't say. I'm assuming we're gonna get some, uh, some uh, base parameter updates though when that happens, so I have to figure out how to do this. I'm not, there's some things in this game that are a little bit weird to me, so the second Mysterium incantation doesn't really mean a whole bunch to me at the moment, <laughs> but we're gonna figure it out. Um, this is my first Mysterium though. I got a, I got a fireball here, so yeah, we can, we can cast some fireballs on people if we have the skills available. And here's our shrine or our workshop. Uh, this is where we do all of our research. You can see right now I'm learning how to uh, research medium range weapons, which would be kind of sick. Uh, so time-based things, when you go out to certain maps, you get timed, uh, and that's what the time accumulates from. That's pretty much all I have to say about it. But man, look, look at the areas, dude. They are beautiful. It's a little bit big for a Nexus, and I'm like really hoping one day I saw the ships. I saw the ships in the patch update, and I'm like, man, you need to put ships in here. <laughs> I really want to see them. Like, like even if I, my Nexus became a ship, like I'd be so happy with that. If I could upgrade that, make put some cosmetics down, like do the whole base building, uh, whole base building thing, I'd be super, super happy. I'd be a, a majorly happy camper. Not that a cliffside base isn't sick, but I mean a ship. I mean, come on, so much cooler, so much cooler in every single way. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at our inventory and see if maybe we can get enough Hellfire or Witchfire to upgrade our. Uh, our base a little bit here so yeah you can see we have um 3605 witch fire this is souls this is how souls work in this game it's witch fire uh you're a witch hunter you're gonna be collecting witch fire uh i have <laughs> 3.6 k and i could ooh okay how much is this gonna be 1500 we might be able to do it i'm not doing the math but i'm just gonna go ahead and send it i'm scared i'm scared for my life i couldn't do it <laughs> shoot <laughs> okay there we go oh oh wait oh wait no, we can do it. Okay, we're actually very good. I thought we needed 6k for a second. We, we have more than enough. Okay, we're gonna open up this new spot in our base and we're gonna explore a little bit. This is where the Genosis does lie. And Genosis can be very important for getting your first boss fight in. We need Genosis level one at the very least to uh, have our first boss fight. So we need to carry 12,000 witch fires. So we, <laughs> we're, uh, yeah, very sorely shy of that at the moment. But hopefully we can make that happen in the next run here, which I'm assuming won't be too bad, uh, too hard of a time. Yeah, let's get out of here and let's probably go out on another run. And that's pretty much all we have to do at the base at the moment. I'm also finding it pretty much worth uh, worth saying at this point to start a new expedition. Uh, right here is where you want to go. This is the portal. Uh, it doesn't make it super, super clear when kind of like we're just running through the base. The map makes it a lot more obvious. Uh, but this is the portal to start an expedition. We're going to go here. We only have the Scarlet Coast right now, but you can see we have six areas in total uh, where we can go through, but we only have this one unlocked, so we're going to start right here. Yeah, you can see what you have activated in your research. Here's my healing elixirs. I can only hold one on one, which is pretty unfortunate. I'd love to have some more healing, man. That's that's a major gripe of mine, too. Uh, I feel like <laughs> I feel like the, the RNG of getting like the healing uh, the healing roguelike element to this. I don't know what you would call those, like that, that little boon. Um, Maybe not so. Maybe not so great for fighting, uh, <laughs> for consistent fighting and consistency throughout maps. I'd love to, for it to be more of like a Bloodborne style thing where you upgrade it, um, 
you know, by finding things or whatnot, uh, unlocks maybe something, but I don't, I don't like it being left up to RNG. And then you can see your witch fire that you're risking. You, there's no stash for this. You bring everything in with you, and this is the objective for the map. All right, we're back in. So we're gonna go ahead and oh, we started right where we, <laughs> right where we came out. Yeah. So I think our goal would kind of be to go down here. Usually there's chests. Yeah. So I did want to talk about chests and keys too. So if you ever pick up a key, uh, it'll unlock chests for you. So you can see I have ammo chests here. Um, there's some curious objects. Some of these need, uh, some of these areas need those book upgrades that I just unlocked in the Hermitorium. So you can actually like activate these and grab the, grab the items and they can have some pretty high levels too. Um, I can't, Genosis, the Genosis. Yeah, that's what it was called. Sorry. There's a, <laughs> whenever a game comes out, they always have to throw a bunch of new words at you, right? to recall them all on the spot yeah i think our goal is going to kind of be to run down here for right now and kind of get out of here this way yeah sorry i'm gonna pull up the map constantly <laughs> i would kill for a mini map man like my my add brain cannot take like <laughs> just looking at this map constantly okay we got some bros down here they want the business we're gonna give it right to them If we're lucky, maybe they'll drop a key. But yeah, you burn through ammo so fast in this game, man. I'm telling you. Well, this guy dropped the healing elixir for me, which is great. Uh, but you can't take it if you already have one in your inventory. So there's that. Oh, here we go. Get ourselves another little boon. Oh, here's a key. We want that. Let's take the manifestation. What do we get? Non-critical weapon damage. I think you crit when you are when you're iron sighting. I want to say, uh, so maybe I'm always iron sighting, so I don't really want that. Longer bolts. I don't have lightning bolts. I don't have a white raven feather, so we're gonna take this. That's just how it goes. I'll take our key, and which you're absolutely gonna want these bullets for. So we're gonna go and go over here. Unlock this little chest. Give it on over. Okay, we got some demonic ammo and standard ammo. I'm not really sure what demonic ammo does, to be fair. Uh, I've had a pretty hard time parsing it out as of late. Here, we're not going to go down there. We don't really need to. My Jos oh, man, my genosis isn't high enough. I just saw. I just triggered the, the node somewhere. I need higher genosis to see it clearly. Fine. Yeah, that's kind of <laughs> always the case. I need a lot of souls to make that happen, man. <laughs> like, they make this game really hard. So if you're into some grindy, like, souls-like combat, this is definitely what you want. Yeah, let's keep going down this way. We're in the fishwife's throat. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> Freezing. So sorry about that. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, our only way through is to go through this extremely dangerous area, so I guess we're going to see how it goes. They also have mushrooms. Uh, be careful when consuming mushrooms. A lot of them do nothing for you. <laughs> I think every once in a while, one of them heals you. But we're going to see what an extremely dangerous area looks like. It's not great. Like, with the amount of bullets I have right now, there's no way I'm finishing it. And that's kind of where my problem in there lies, right? Like, I, I just picked up an ammo crate, like... It should be no problem. <laughs> like, feasibly, how many crates can I open? How many keys can I get? Like, just being lucky to get, get enough of, uh... And getting ammo crates, like, luckily enough, to actually have enough bullets to make this happen, right? So that's why you really want to rely on upgrading yourself as much as possible. So those bullets count for a lot more every time we fire one. There's gonna be a lot of dudes here, so get ready. There's gonna be so many. Take a heal. Get out of here, bun. There you go. Take a seat. Oh, this guy's gonna drop some ammo for me. Fantastic. Oh, he... tanky. He's got a weird move set too, man. He's all about getting out of the way and just like disappearing, and then just doing these lunging attacks. You can see right now I have a heat meter at the bottom as well. Um, which makes my ammo or my uh, my damage drop off pretty pretty significant. That was something I took. So that's that's something on me <laughs> for the class that I, I'm playing, which I would not recommend doing. 
Oh my gosh. I don't know, this class is hard, man. <laughs> You'd think it'd be pretty nice. Oh my lord. Like, you really have to be so close up into it. Oh my god. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm telling you, man, this game is crazy hard. <laughs> At least for, I don't know, I think this class is like very, oh, I lost all my souls. Uh, <laughs> it's very susceptible um, to every single damage type just because you're so close to the to the action to be dealing any damage anyway. And every moveset counters you so hard. <laughs> and if you're fired too long, you're screwed. So you're constantly re reloading, right? <laughs> That's all you can do. All right, but all we can do is go ahead and start another expedition. Try to get out there again. All right, we start back up here. All we want is some souls and to get out. <laughs> That's all we're looking for right now. You know, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go around this way. Yeah, that that area is a little too scary for me. I'm just not strong enough yet, and I've been playing for like a decent amount of time. I want to say. Ooh, I need some of this. You use these for healing potions. And the apothecary. For your alchemy lab. You also do get a nice little double jump, which is also very Destiny-esque, right? Yeah, I'm very much looking forward to fighting this guy, though. We'll see if we can make it happen this video. This game always has other plans when it comes to your progress. <laughs> it's kind of how it seems. I think they were right to rebalance it. I think they need to rebalance it a little bit more, honestly. It's not very accessible to uh, people that are not good at video games, like people like myself. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'm, like, that bad, but I mean... I'm, I'm hitting mostly headshots every time I shoot. Don't pull up any clips uh, proving me otherwise. I don't need that. <laughs> Let me have this. Uh, but I just feel like, I don't know, like I'm always, I always feel so star for ammo in the middle of fights and that doesn't feel good, right? Like I, I wish I was punished some other way and making it into making this game hard. Oh, that's really shitty. Our only way out <laughs> is to go by this guy. Oh. Yeah, some of the some of the portal placement could be used some work too. I think uh, that's not. This isn't the first time I've had something like this happen, where it's like, well, if you if you go back in, like you're kind of you're kind of screwed, man. That happens all the time, which also just doesn't feel great. Ugh, okay. Yep. 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 I will say this game is forty dollars. Something to keep in mind, but I think it is free right now if you have a. Um, an epic subscription is something that I've heard people say. Not that I have one. I would. This is like I play this game and then uh, Darkest Dungeon Two are the only reasons I have Epic. <laughs> that's pretty much all I use it for. So that's like I don't think I've opened this uh, this game client in like, oy, like maybe six months. Maybe that's maybe a little extreme. I, I did play Darkest Dungeon not too long ago, but it's it's been a while. Oh my god, there's so many, man. There's no way. So, like, just like, watch, we're gonna run out of ammo. There's gonna be, like, so, so many enemies left with no keys dropped to go get more ammo. Like, there's, <laughs> like, nothing you can do. I mean, we do have, um, we do have spells. There's Firebolt. And now that's out for a really long time. <laughs> oh my god. Dude's screwing me up. Like you, you're gonna get the spells back by by killing things and getting hellfire, which is nice, or witchfire, <laughs> which is nice. But you can see how slow it is. Like, there's no way I'm taking out anybody else. <laughs> oh my god. I don't want to make this sound like I'm complaining too much, because it is a really sick game. And it's, I just think there's some fine tuning that needs to happen here. I'm not sure if people make it work, and maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I. I think I'm using every every tool at my at my uh, <laughs> at my disposal here. Oh my god, you guys need to chill. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that pretty much sums up my experience with this game, to be honest. <laughs> I'm sure there's ways to do it better than than I'm doing it, but you know, there it is. <laughs> That's what it's like to play this game. <laughs> I was gonna try to go ahead and kill the boss, but I think we're gonna call it there for right now. I think I've shown you everything that I uh, that I pretty much have to say about it. Otherwise, we'd just be kind of I'm just showing you the game more that 
that I'm probably not gonna get to, <laughs> right? So I don't know. I think that's a pretty good spot. It's as good as, as good a spot as any. Um, it's a beautiful game. Uh, I I love the direction. If you if you are a fan of uh, updates coming out for this game, like really or for games in general, really really fast. Not a title for you. I'm gonna say that it's been a very very long time before this gets like before this game gets updates. Uh, so they don't happen frequently, but when the updates do happen, they're big, right? They're like they're nice and chunky updates. Like they take a lot of time and make sure they're doing the doing the game justice. Which I'm a fan of personally, because I mean, just for my style of content creation, uh, I like to check check up on games every now and then uh, when a lot of things have happened to it. Uh, so you know, when they put out a big patch release, I'm, okay, now I can go back. I have something to like, like, oh, look at all these things that they changed. I'm like, I'm not keeping up with it every single month, right? <laughs> it's like not, just not not. I don't have enough time. There's too many games. <laughs> but yeah, this game is pretty freaking sweet. Um, I think there's definitely some room for improvement as it goes to quality of life things. Um, I'd love to see the ammo system rework somehow. Uh, I'm not sure what they're going to do. I know they already reworked a lot of the systems um, in this update that just came out. But it still, fe it still feels really, really tough, man. Like, you need to put in some time. <laughs> you need to put in a lot of time to even get the first boss. Uh, which isn't a bad thing if you enjoy the, co the combat a lot. But... Um, you know, for me, I think maybe a little bit. I'd love to see just more progression, a little more quickly. Give me something to bite onto, man. Especially in the first like few few moments of the game uh, that you've been playing. Like I played two hours. I feel like I did like nothing, <laughs> right? But I I did level up like a few times. Uh, they just did, it just didn't feel that impactful. So I'd I'd love to see some more uh, more reward more reward for my my time spent. I think. But yeah, that's me it for me for today. This has been Witchfire. I hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you like the game, like I said, I have a link for you down below. It's on Epic only at the moment. Um, it usually takes a year for things to come out of Epic exclusive. Um, so if you're looking for this game on Steam, probably look around September. Once again, I have no right to be saying that. Uh, <laughs> I have no clue if that's actually going to happen or not. But if I had to guess, probably. Uh, but yeah, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate your time. And I'll catch you guys all in the next video. Bye-bye.